Thank you for joining me today in Ron's Basement. We need to get up to speed on silver. There's been a lot developing over the last few weeks, but we know we've had a problem. The last two to three months have been absolutely brutal for any of us invested in either physical silver or the silver mining stocks. Some of the stocks have had drawdowns of 80 and 90% absolute bloodbath. But are there reasons? Are there things developing out there that can give us reason for optimism? I think there are. I want to cover those in this video with you right now. First, let's do a quick review on what happened in the physical silver market this week. The price of one ounce of physical silver dropped by 1%. Hey, that's nothing compared to what we've been used to over the last few months. Silver started the week at about $18.66 per ounce and ended the week at $18.50 per ounce. So not a huge drawdown. Now the silver mining stocks, they did a little better. They were generally even for the week. I think there's two reasons for that. Number one, the price of silver, physical silver, didn't really drop all that much. And the general markets were up 1% to 2% this week. So I think those two forces balanced each other out. The general markets do affect the mining stocks, like it or not, uh, and resulted in the silver mining stocks having kind of an even week. But let's move on to reasons that we have to be optimistic. Before we do that, I just want to say thank you for deciding to join me here in the basement. I really appreciate you giving me a bit of your time. You're important and it's important to me that you join me here. If you like my video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. And of course, you can share this video anywhere and with anyone that you please. You have my full permission. Now, let's move on to some factors that I think will be supportive for the price of silver as we move into the end of the year. I actually went to a giant, giant coin show on Thursday of this week. The Missouri Pneumostatic Society has this huge coin show. Hundreds of exhibitors with all types of silver. Silver was everywhere and gold. I talked to people from coin shops all over the United States, Chicago, Washington State, everywhere. I asked all of them, what's your read on the silver market? And they all basically said the same thing. Very few people have been selling silver back to the coin shops. Very, very few people. And they're getting big, big orders. And it's getting harder and harder for them to find physical silver. That's why the premiums are so darn high. As a matter of fact, on Friday, I went on J.M. Bullion's website and looked at what I consider the Ron's Basement Standard, the 10-ounce silver bar, and basically, you're going to pay still about $240 or $250 for a generic 10-ounce silver bar from J.M. Bullion. Now, sure, I think they had one that was on sale, and if you bought, you know, like, 10 million ounces, you might be able to get the price as low as it was either 235 or 240, um, which works out to about $24 per ounce. The premiums are still ridiculous on physical silver. Junk silver premiums are super high. We won't even talk about the American Silver Eagle. I mean, I think it's still like $12 over spot. It is ridiculous, and there's only one reason why that is the case, that's because the demand for physical silver remains strong. And that will be a very supportive factor for the price of silver as we move into the end of the year. Now, let's also just mention that there was a $50 million order that went through Miles Franklin last week for 
half physical silver and half physical gold. Mostly on the physical silver side, it was actually American silver eagles and some junk silver on top of that. But that's a wealthy, I believe it was a billionaire, who decided to put $50 million into precious metals, 25 million of which was into silver. So now we even have Apparently, the big money people are deciding to join us. We might even have a billionaire show up here in Ron's basement. You never know. But nonetheless, that's a very supportive factor for the price of silver as well. On the paper side of the silver market, things are looking good too. The COMEX inventory of silver continues to get drained, going lower and lower. There's less and less physical silver on the COMEX at this point. Also, the commitment of traders report, commonly referred to as the COT report, it is showing that uh, uh, flashing very bullish signals, I'll put it that way, for the silver price. Uh, I believe it was Dave Kranzler had a video out this week saying it was, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he said it's like the bullish setup. It's a very bullish, almost the bullish uh, setup that you could ask for on this COT report. Uh, Goldman Sachs is still calling for $2,500 gold. Wait a minute, this is a video about silver, but nonetheless, Goldman Sachs, our friends at Goldman Sachs, are predicting $2,500 gold, forecasting those sophisticated folks on Wall Street by the end of the year. That will bleed through to silver. That would equate to probably at least a $29.43 silver price, if my calculations are correct. And finally, from one of the most trusted sources that I know, Pippi the Silver Cat, I'm going to leave you with this. Hey, Come back to Ron's basement. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. You know you're the original silver cat. What do you think about the price of silver, Pip? Pippy. Pippy, what do you think about the price of silver? What are your thoughts? Pippy, do you have any thoughts on the price of silver? Pippy. Why won't you tell us what's going to happen? Is silver going up? It is? Well, thank you, Pippi. Oof. I know we're all very relieved and we appreciate you sharing with us. Okay?